Now, here's a letter that I got from a seller after the deal, to whom it may concern. For the past two years, I have received letters from J&K Properties. Finally, this year, I gave them a call just to see what they were all about. Due to the illness of my husband, I decided to sell to J&K. I was impressed by their business-like and friendly manner and would not hesitate to do business with them again. Watch this, folks. How many people in this room are getting a letter like this from every single seller that you're dealing with? None. Not a single body in the room. Zip. This is typically the response that I get when I show this letter. Do you folks want to learn how to steal deals from every competitor in your area? Yeah. Yes? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to teach you how to build a credibility kit. Take notes. Good time. Now, you're saying, Kathy, what's a credibility kit? Have you ever had a contractor come out to your house? And let's see, he's going to do siding or roofing or cabinets or tile floors, maybe, something like that. And he's got the pretty book that he brings with him. And in the book, there's like copies of his licensing, and there's photographs of houses that he's done. And at the end of it, there's either letters or there are referral names and telephone numbers. Have you ever seen those? Yes? Why are we not doing the same thing as real estate investors? Okay? We absolutely should be doing the same thing as real estate investors. This is the tool that you are going to use to work with your sellers and find all of the private lending that you need for your business. So let's talk for a minute about what goes into this credibility kit that you are going to create. The first thing that's going in there is your business card. And you can do this even if you haven't done your first deal yet, folks. You need to start building your credibility kit right now. All right. The next thing that goes in there are copies of ads that you're running. You know, like in the newspaper, your shopper guide or whatever. It's copies of the ads that you're running. These are things that are going to lend credibility for your business. The next thing that goes in there are letters from every seller that you are, have bought a deal from. Now, you're going to say, well, how do I get my seller to do this? What you do is right at the closing table. You say, you know, look, um, Mr. Smith, ha have we had a good experience? You know, have I done everything I said I was going to do? Yeah, no problem. Can you take just a minute and can you write me a little note, you know, so I can put that in, in my book? And you know what they're going to say? They're going to say, can you do it for me and I'll sign it? <laughs> so here's your opportunity to toot your horn. Okay? So, that, and it's very simple. You get these right at the closing table. Before and after photographs of properties that you have done. Folks, if you haven't done your first deal yet or you haven't done very many deals yet, can I give you a little piece of advice? Start a photo album and take before and after photographs of every property that you're doing. Or if you're wholesaling them, picture of the property, copy of the check. Let me tell you that nine years or ten years down the road, like it's been for me, it's priceless. It is such a trip. One, you're going to use it for your credibility kit. But number two, it is such a trip. And I know Robin would agree with me because she's done hundreds of homes. To go back to that book and go, oh, man, do you remember that one? You know, and stuff, and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's absolutely an incredible experience. And I know other gurus and other students out there who would have paid big money to be able to turn the clock back and to do that. So if, you're not, if you haven't been taking before and afters, you really, really need to do that. Okay, so real important. So you're going to put before and after photographs um, of properties that you've rehabbed in this credibility kit. Once again, if you're wholesaling properties, you want to put a copy of, of a, a photograph of the property and a copy of the check underneath it in the credibility kit. The next thing we're going to put in there are personal reference letters. This is especially for those of you who haven't necessarily done your first deal yet or you haven't done many deals yet. You can get letters like from your boss if he or she still likes you. You can get letters from your, your pastor, your minister, you know, whatever that is for you. Um, any uh, service organizations that you belong to, like YMCA or anything like that, or Kiwanis or, you know, those kind of things, get letters from them. 
Any business owners that you know? You know, that, those types of folks. Okay, anybody who can give you a good personal reference letter, and we're going to be putting those in that credibility kit as well. Letters from vendors that you are working with. This is highly important. Um, your title agent or your attorney. If you're using a title agent, you also want a letter from your attorney in there. Your realtor, if you're working with a realtor in your business. Um, your surveyor, um, anybody, your appraiser, anybody who is crucial to getting a deal closed for you. Your private or hard money lenders, get letters from them and include it in this credibility kit. Any paid off notes or mortgages? So for example, somebody deeds you a property and then you sell it, now you have that paid off note. Just, you know, like black out the pertinent, you know, any social security numbers or anything like that that's in there. And then make a copy of that and put that in that credibility kit as well. 